All right, thanks for joining in. This is Movado, and I'm here with another Imperion video. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the logistics menu, how to move stuff uh, around from ship to ship, base to ship, it's your personal inventory, and kind of how the logistics menu works and the range of it. Uh, and then before I get started, of course, if you do uh, enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. The more likes and subscri subscribes I get, probably the more videos I'll do. Uh, but let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to use this multi-booster as, as an example. So the best way to think about the logistics system is, first of all, by pressing the F4 key. Uh, again, that's F4, brings up this menu. And, and you're going to find it's basically two halves, the left half and the right half. And this is how you transfer inventory back and forth be between anything that is within range of your current body. So sometimes it can be confusing because if I press F4 and I say hey I want to take my space station and I want to move uh, looks like I already had it up there I want to move something from my space station to another ship and that ship is in range of the space station but it's not in the menu why is that like for example across the way I've got the Plutus that miner over there if I press F4 I look in the menu the Plutus is not listed the reason why, even though I want to transfer from the space station, which it is in range of, the reason why it's not listed is because all the logistics routes through the individual person themselves. So since my physical body is right where I am, I'm not in range of the wireless extender on that Plutus. So when I go in F4 menu, it's not listed. Okay, let's do some moves where it is listed. So um, obviously if we've got the player inventory here, the only drop down option is the player inventory. Like, I don't have any other options. If I look at um, the Soul Crusher CV, that's the one that's right behind me. It's got all these ammunition controllers, the controllers, the, con uh, the pallets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think you're all familiar with that. Uh, any way to move, it's, it's really simple. Um, I'm just going to go into my armor boosters and got a lot of them. Uh, I can just drag it across, or you can shift left click. And that's how you move between them. You can go from the space station to any ship. If I wanted to put it onto the pack mule, I could just grab this and I could say, hey, I want it in this cargo box, shift left click, bring it back. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, the one other thing within this menu is this connect to container on the right. This is really important. So I'm going to look at my constructor output and I'll go to the constructors a little bit later too and just talk about inputs and outputs. I'm going to connect to the container on the right here. So now this is all this is all gold. The toolbar turned gold. Although if I click the person, that shows you your personal toolbar. This shows us your connected toolbar. So I can click back and forth, or I can just press the T key. Um, see if I just press the T key, I can uh, T is in Tom. I can flip back and forth between the connected toolbar and my toolbar. So I'm going to take a block, place a couple blocks. Now the reason why I wanted to do that is because while I'm connected to the toolbar, anything that I pick up automatically goes right into this container. I put out a couple of carbon composite blocks, I had 70. If I take my multi-tool, I pick them up, I now have 72 in that container. They didn't go to my inventory, they went directly into the container that I was connected to. So that can be really helpful for moving things around. Same as, hey, let's say I want to place this large generator. Well, I can't put it on myself, but I can put it down here in my connected toolbar. And now if I press the T key, I go back here, now I can place that generator. It's going from the toolbar directly into wherever you want to place it. So that's kind of how that logistic system system works uh, on that side. I'm going to move this back here. Uh, it is also a best practice to move things off of your toolbar into your container uh, and then disconnect from that container when you are finished. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's kind of the gist of the of the logistics system. F4 is going to be the best friend when it comes to how to move things around. Uh, and again, the key to remember is that your body is kind of the central hub. And if something's not within range of your body, it's not going to show up on this list. Even though I could be going from the space station to the Plutus, which is right here. I'll just fly over. Let's see how close I have to get for it to show up. There it is, and now it's showing up. So now I can transfer something into the Plutus. 
but when I'm back here, Plutus is no longer listed, simply because I am not close enough. So that's how it works. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, again, like and subscribe, and thanks for joining.